Have you ever stopped for a moment while connecting your phone or laptop to the internet and wondered, why is it called Wi-Fi? We use it every single day. It's everywhere, from our homes to coffee shops, airports, hotels, and even on airplanes. But most people have no idea what the term actually means. Many assume that Wi-Fi is just short for wireless fidelity, kind of like how Hi-Fi stands for high fidelity in audio systems. But here's the twist, that's not true. The story behind Wi-Fi's name is a fascinating mix of technology, marketing, and a bit of clever branding that changed the world of connectivity forever. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. Before we dive into how the name Wi-Fi came to be, let's rewind to the late 1990s. Back then, wireless networking was just emerging as a concept. The idea that computers could talk to each other without cables sounded futuristic, but also complicated. Companies were developing their own incompatible wireless technologies, meaning devices from different manufacturers couldn't communicate with each other. It was chaos for the tech industry. That's when a group of major companies, including Lucent Technologies, Nokia, and Symbol Technologies, came together to form a nonprofit organization called the Wireless Ethernet Compatibility Alliance, or WECA for short. Their goal was simple to create a standard for wireless networking that all devices could follow, so they'd be compatible no matter who made them. This new standard was based on a technology known as IEEE 802.11, developed by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. Sounds confusing already, right? IEEE 802.11 is a technical term that refers to a set of rules defining how wireless networks work, things like how data is transmitted through the air and how devices connect to each other. But as you can imagine, IEEE 802.11 doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. It's the kind of name only an engineer could love. So the Alliance realized they had a problem. They needed a name that the public could actually remember and trust. Something catchy, easy to say, and friendly enough for marketing to the average consumer. That's where branding experts came in. The Weka hired a marketing firm called Innerbrand, one of the world's most famous naming agencies responsible for helping create iconic names for companies and products. Innerbrand's task was to come up with a name that would make wireless networking sound appealing, approachable, and modern. After brainstorming different possibilities, they landed on a short two-syllable word that just sounded right, Wi-Fi. It didn't actually stand for anything, it wasn't an acronym, and it had no technical meaning. It was simply designed to sound a bit like hi-fi, a term that people already associated with quality audio systems. The idea was to borrow some of that positive familiarity. If hi-fi means high-quality sound, maybe Wi-Fi would come to mean high-quality wireless. In fact, Interbrand's team originally proposed the tagline, the standard for wireless fidelity. It was meant to help people understand what Wi-Fi was, but ironically, that phrase caused decades of confusion. Many began to believe Wi-Fi actually meant wireless fidelity. But the truth is, it never did. It was pure marketing, a clever but misleading slogan that helped explain a complex technology in simpler terms. Even Phil Belanger, one of the founding members of the Wi-Fi Alliance, later admitted that the name Wi-Fi was chosen purely because it was catchy, not because it had any deeper technical meaning. He even criticized the tagline for spreading misinformation. But by the time the truth came out, the world had already accepted Wi-Fi as part of everyday language. 
In 2002, Weka officially rebranded itself as the Wi-Fi Alliance, fully embracing the name that consumers had already fallen in love with. The Alliance became responsible for certifying Wi-Fi products, testing them to make sure they met industry standards and could work together seamlessly. That's why if you look closely at the back of your router or the packaging of a new smartphone, you'll often see the Wi-Fi certified logo. That label means the device passed tests to ensure it can connect and communicate reliably with other Wi-Fi enabled products, regardless of the brand. So, in essence, Wi-Fi isn't short for anything. It's a made-up brand name that became so successful, it's now part of the world's vocabulary. It's a rare case where a marketing term completely replaced a technical one. Think about it. No one says, I'm connecting to my IEEE 802.11 network. Everyone just says, I'm using Wi-Fi. That's how powerful a good name can be. But Wi-Fi's story doesn't end with its name. The technology behind it evolved rapidly. The original version, 802.11b, was released in 1999 and offered speeds up to 11 megabits per second, fast for the time, but painfully slow by today's standards. Over the years, new versions followed, 802.11g, 802.11n, 802.11ac, and the latest 802.11ax, better known as Wi-Fi 6. Each version brought faster speeds, greater stability, and improved efficiency, shaping the way we connect to the Internet today. Interestingly, the Wi-Fi Alliance also made the naming system easier for consumers. Instead of using confusing numbers and letters like 802.11ac, they introduced a simpler naming convention, Wi-Fi 4, Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 6, and so on, so that people could easily understand which generation their devices supported. Again, marketing played a key role in making technology more accessible to the public. Wi-Fi has become so integrated into our daily lives that it's easy to forget how revolutionary it really is. It transformed how we work, learn, and communicate. From remote jobs to streaming services, video calls, and even smart home devices, Wi-Fi has become the invisible backbone of modern life. And to think, it all started with a made-up name that didn't mean anything at all. So, the next time you open your laptop and see that little Wi-Fi icon light up, remember, you're not just connecting to a network, you're connecting to a piece of history, a name born out of marketing genius that ended up defining how the modern world stays connected. Wi-Fi doesn't stand for wireless fidelity. It stands for something even bigger, the moment humanity truly went wireless. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.